We got 13 baby chicks about two months ago. Since then, we built them a chicken coop and now they're outside living in their chicken run, but we're starting to wonder if we made a giant mistake. When we bought our chickens, we bought five different breeds and we bought all pullets. And right now we have concerns that we might have up to three roosters. There's one that we're mainly concerned about and that is this Americana. That chicken looks very different than all the other chickens. Its behavior, its tail feathers, waddle comb, all look very different than the other chickens. It's hard to do a fair comparison because we only have two Americanas. The rest are other breeds, so it could just be a matter of that breed looks a little bit different. As the chickens start to get older, you get some visual clues into whether or not you have a hen or a rooster. One of those being the comb and the waddle. The comb is the part on the top of the head and the waddle is the piece that sits down below their jaw. Now both hens and roosters can have combs and waddles, but typically on roosters, it's much more pronounced. Now we're starting to see some combs and waddles really only on a few chickens. Now on two to three of our chickens, they have the really pronounced tail where they stick pretty high up in the air. It's also referred to as the sickle. Now as the chickens get older and when a rooster would actually develop into a rooster, that sickle becomes much more pronounced. It kind of arcs up and folds down and it's pretty obvious when you have a rooster. So right now our chickens are kind of in that teenager stage. They're about 10 weeks old, so it's still a bit too early to tell. They're obviously not crowing yet. That can take four to five months before that begins. So right now, all we have are these visual clues. Now the chicken in question appears to be slightly bigger than the others. Are they bigger because they're a rooster? Or are they bigger because they're a different breed? Or perhaps they're just a week or two older than some of the other chickens. Another indicator that you might have a rooster is behavior when it comes to food. Uh, he will typically go out and look for food and call to the other chickens or the hens to let them know, hey, I have found food. Another indicator is behavior. So there's a pecking order when it comes to chickens and roosters typically sit at the top of that pecking order. One of the chickens that we have concerns that it may be a rooster is the first one to come out of the chicken coop every morning. So we bought all of our baby chicks from a local farm store and they were all labeled as pullets. Now I know there's always a risk that they could have been sexed incorrectly and you can accidentally get a rooster, but I don't know how common this is. So let me know, leave me a comment. Have you ever gone out and bought just pullets and ended up with a rooster and what did you do about it? Now we based our coop build on having a maximum of 20 chickens. We'd prefer to have less than that as it's only a four by eight coop and we don't want to overcrowd them. So we figured worst case scenario, we could have up to two roosters and the rest be hens. Best case scenario, one of these pullets actually ends up being a rooster, but we only want one. If we end up with more than one rooster, it's gonna kind of throw everything out of balance and we're really gonna to have to pay attention to behavior to make sure that we don't have any fighting between the two roosters because there aren't enough hens to go around. Now in the coming weeks, we should get a real easy answer to this question because if we hear some crowing outside, obviously we have a rooster. 
The only question will be, do we have one rooster or do we have multiples and another problem to solve on the homestead? We'll keep you updated over the next few weeks. In the meantime, watch this video next to learn more about our backyard chickens and remember to live free and find your purpose.